After the release of Wonder Woman 1984, it was confirmed that Wonder Woman 3 will have a release date, regardless of the mixed reviews for the DC sequel. Warner Brothers confirmed back on December 27, 2020, that Gal Gadot will be returning to star in the third movie written and directed by Patty Jenkins. Wonder Woman 1984 was finally released in December 2020 after being postponed for more than a year from its initial date in November 2019. The movie, besides screening in the theaters, was released on day one on HBO Max. It was the first time for Warner Brothers, but not the last, since every movie from 2021 from now on will be available to the streaming service on premiere day. Quote, we are excited to be able to continue Wonder Woman's story with our real-life Wonder Woman, Gal and Patty, who will return to conclude the long-planned theatrical trilogy, said the studio's chairman, Toby Emmerich. The third movie is unrelated to the already confirmed Wonder Woman spin-off that will center on Amazons. In that movie, the events are set to take place between the second and third movie, and even though Jenkins will be the producer, she won't be the director. After delaying the movie for so many months, finally, fans had a chance to watch Wonder Woman 1984 on Christmas Day in the movie theaters and at home. Warner Brothers reported that it was the most successful movie since COVID-19 started, gaining $16.7 million in domestic box office over the weekend. This is a small amount if we compare it to Wonder Woman's opening weekend of $103 million, even though Wonder Woman 1984 is not in a position to be judged by pre-pandemic metrics. Although Rotten Tomatoes have mixed reviews on WW84, two days after the release of the movie, Warner Brothers said that they are going to make a third Wonder Woman movie to end the trilogy. The chairman of Warner Brothers, Toby Emmerich, announced the new movie according to CNN, and then he confirmed that Patty Jenkins will be directing Wonder Woman 3. She also directed the first and second movie of the Wonder Woman franchise, and because of her, the movies have been so successful. So even though we just watched Wonder Woman 84, we will share with you everything we know so far about the Wonder Woman trilogy. It was reported by CNN that Warner Brothers is speeding up the production process of the upcoming Wonder Woman 3, but since it takes a lot of time to make a movie, the earliest we can expect it to be released is around two years. Aside from the delays related to the pandemic, we have our fingers crossed that there won't be any other problems by then, and that we will be able to watch the movie on the big screen in 2023. The movie will be joining other new DC Extended Universe movies. The Suicide Squad was released in 2021, while Aquaman 2 and The Flash are scheduled to premiere in 2022. Shazam! Fury of the Gods will be released in 2022 as well, and Black Adam doesn't have a premiere date so far, but it's most likely that it will be in 2022 or at the beginning of 2023. As we mentioned earlier, Wonder Woman 3 is scheduled to be released in 2023 and will probably be a huge success in the DCEU next period. The director Jenkins is also working on her upcoming Star Wars movie, Rogue Squadron, which is set to premiere in 2023. And if Warner Brothers is speeding up the development of WW3, she'll likely be directing both movies in the same period. Although Jenkins said to Collider that there will be a longer period between Wonder Woman 2 and 3 than the two years in the previous two movies, it looks like things have changed. But we'll have to wait until we know more about Jenkins' order of operations for the future. As of today, the only confirmed cast member we have is Wonder Woman herself, Gal Gadot. Even though there are some talks about whether Chris Pine is going to return to the upcoming movie as Revenant Steve Trevor, he sacrificed himself in Wonder Woman and reappeared in an ill-fated wish in Wonder Woman 84, though the movie ended with him gone away again, and this time, apparently for good. Although, Gal Gadot told Entertainment Tonight that she, quote, couldn't imagine doing another one without him, so there's still a chance that he could return. It's also possible that Kristen Wiig will return as Barbara Minerva, aka Cheetah, to reprise her role in Wonder Woman 84. Both Gadot and Jenkins have been asked on Twitter the same thing, and they responded with indefinite answers. Although, however, Jenkins was more towards a yes. She wrote, quote, we'll just have to see, with three winking emojis added. It's not a yes, but still, it's not a no either. 
Jenkins shifted the characters in Wonder Woman 1984 closer to the present day. But still, we don't know when the upcoming movie will be set. It's still a mystery to us. She also revealed that she won't be, quote, doing another period piece for Wonder Woman 3. So this indicates that we could be watching a solo Wonder Woman movie in the present day DC schedule for the first time. Quote, I'm not planning to put it in the past again, because where are you going to go? You have to go forward. It's a contemporary story. That's all I can say. Where we put it in, how that gets figured out, I haven't nailed down, she revealed to The Hollywood Reporter. Jenkins already had a story in mind before the Wonder Woman 1984 premiere about where this series could go, but it will most likely be changed now. She told Cinema Blend, quote, I came up with a story and Jeff Johns, Wonder Woman 1984 screenwriter, and I beat out an entire story for Wonder Woman 3 that we were super fired up about. But I've never felt this way before as much as I do now. I don't think I'm doing it next, and so I have to wait and see where we are in the world when it comes to making the movie. I still love the story that we came up with. I'm sure that parts of it would come out. I'm sure that parts of it would come over to it, but I'm trying to say, don't decide. Don't fall in love with anything. See, what would Wonder Woman do now? What are you craving Wonder Woman to do in this world? Wonder Woman 1984 didn't reveal much about the third movie, not even with the post credit scene that returned OG Wonder Woman Linda Carter. She portrayed Asteria, not Diana Prince, but she may play a role in the new movie. Wonder Woman 84 finished on a heartbreaking note for Diana Prince. Even though she saved the day, her partner, Steve Trevor, vanished once again, leaving her to take his farewell words to heart and look for a new love somewhere else in the world. The movie ended with many questions unanswered for the fans who were wondering what might happen in the third movie, which is the last in the trilogy. We will just have to wait and see what Jenkins will come up with for the Wonder Woman 3 story. It will probably move forward to modern times, and optimistically, we will see Diana form some new relationships now that Steve is gone. We didn't see the human Barbara and Diana reunite in Wonder Woman 84, which could present an interesting point of view to explore in the new movie if it doesn't move so far away. At this stage, Barbara no longer has the energy and speed of a cheetah, but most likely she will search for a different source of those powers. Anyway, there will be more information about Wonder Woman 3 as the development of the movie continues. Besides filming Wonder Woman 3, Jenkins has planned to make an Amazon spin-off movie as well. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below what are your thoughts on the upcoming Wonder Woman 3 and what are your thoughts on Wonder Woman 1984. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.